7. This program is brought to you by Beacon Lighting. Be stylish, be enlightened, be savvy, but you'd also better be quick. Beacon Lighting sale is now on. Can you please roll up your sleeves, Sanif? Need to see your arms. What? What's this about? You've got to be kidding me. Can you remove your coat, please? What for? We need to check your arms, son. You know what? I've had enough. Thank you. We can get a court order, Hanif. This is ridiculous. Well, if you've done nothing wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I've got nothing to worry about, right? Right. And I don't. I didn't kill him. Just need to see your arms. We were soulmates. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, Ian, we spoke to all of Salim's friends and he's got a lot of friends because he was a very popular guy. Yeah. And none of them mentioned you. None of them seemed to know anything about you. That's... That's because what we had was secret. Yeah, very secret. I don't think Salim even knew about it. That's not true. Come on, Ian. You really have to stop kidding yourself. Salim didn't think you were special. He was just a nice guy. We were friends. We were soulmates. It's a beautiful thing to find your soulmate, isn't it? Which is why you killed his fiancée, so you could be with him. And then you made a move on him and he rejected you, which is humiliating. And it made you angry. So you killed him to make him pay. It wasn't like that, OK? Well, Ian, you tell me what it was like. It was an accident, OK? I... I never wanted to hurt him. I dropped him at his aunt's house and he got angry at me. He pushed me and I pushed him back and he fell. He fell on the coffee table? What did you fight about, Ian? I was only trying to help. You know, like, people shouldn't be forced to do things they don't want to do. What things, Ian? The, the, the arranged marriage. Right. He didn't want to do it. And friends help each other out, don't they? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You slipped a sedative into Marina's drink, didn't you? You waited outside the club for her. <coughs> um, can I give you a lift? Your Salim's friend. And then you drove her to that empty lot and you killed her. You had it all prepared. A quote from the Quran, a text her, a knife. She didn't even struggle when you killed her, did she? You raped her? She was dead. She didn't feel a thing. What about you, Ian? You feel anything? It was a very, very clever thing to write a quote from the Quran on her forehead. I wasn't trying to be clever. I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> It wasn't about me. It was about Salim. I had to help him. I didn't want Salim to be sad, so I made it look like she had betrayed him. I never meant to hurt Salim. He was my soulmate. We have identified Ian Driscoll as Marina's killer. We'll keep you informed leading up to the trial. Thank you. 
Thank you for this. Marina was a wonderful girl. And we're very sorry for your loss. Good job on this case, detectives. Thanks, Sarge. You work well together. But since you are in a personal relationship, I'm sorry to say that will be the last time that you work together in homicide. This wasn't an easy decision for me to make, but you know how it works. Actually, Sarge, before you go any further with this, Ali and I have... Are you in agreement with this, Ali? Yeah. I think it's the right thing to do. We both realise the impact this could have on our careers, and it's just not worth it. Our number one commitment is to homicide, and, you know, it's not like it was anything serious. You let me down, you're gone, both of you. Permanently. No hesitation. Yes, Sarge. Thank you. Sarge. Love the job, right? I'm sorry, I just I kind of thought that. Just 